In 2000, the Waco City Council voted to increase the level of Lake Waco by 7 feet, providing an additional 20,000 acre feet of water. This decision guarantees that Waco citizens and surrounding communities will have sufficient water rights and drinking water for decades to come. The creation of the wetlands aids in replacing wildlife habitat lost due to the lake level being raised. It also impacts the water quality by naturally treating approximately 11 million gallons of water a day from the Bosque River, as well as removing up to 80% of the solids and nutrients in the water. The City of Waco, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service were partners in the construction of the over 180-acre wetland site. Construction began in summer 2001 and was complete in 2002. The City Council actually agreed to build a large wetland rather than just replace the five acres of wetland that would be lost by raising the level of the lake. And this site is 180 acres of uh, freshwater marsh on a 300 acre uh, site. And the 300 acre site actually has three different ecosystems uh, on it. We have an upland, a freshwater marsh, and then a riparian bottomland. So it has a great diversity of wildlife and that has been enhanced by having the freshwater marsh present because it provides so much food and, and habitat for uh, the different animals and critters. We started this in 2000 and we actually had the first planting in October 2001. We had 460 people who volunteered to come out and uh, attend three hours of training and then they put in about 30,000 plants that were native plants harvested from around the area. And uh, we put in 24 native Texas species, and it's just grown from there. We put the plants in when we started to, to plant. We put the plants in where we thought they would like to be. And they've moved to where they want to be, <laughs> which is part of the magic, I guess, of the wetland, because the plants, through seeding and propagation, can go ahead and find their own niche. The wetlands play an important part in the ecology of the landscape by providing habitat for many species, protection from floods, and improvements in water quality. Often called nature's nursery, a wetland provides a rich habitat for the early development of many species such as amphibians, birds, insects, and mammals. They provide an integral role in the development of a watershed. Wetlands are among the most biologically productive ecosystems in the world and are often compared to tropical rainforests and coral reefs. There's lots of different uh, types of habitat. There's deep pools, there's uh, just muddy spots. There's actually dry areas. Uh, we have two islands that are uh, set up to help nesting birds stay uh, safe from predators and that kind of thing. Uh, and so we have all kinds of different uh, things happening within the, the wetland itself in a very small scale. Wetlands also protect us from flood waters by providing a place for excess water to go during periods of flooding and minimizing damage to other systems. For example, hurricane storm surges are often significantly reduced in areas of abundant wetlands. Finally, wetlands also help in protecting the quality of our waters. Sometimes called nature's kidneys, wetlands dramatically improve the quality of water flowing through them. Well, the wetlands was built as uh, habitat mitigation, but we've also had a tremendous impact on water quality in Lake Waco. We can pump water from Lake Waco through the wetland, and it takes about seven to ten days for a drop of water to enter and then exit uh, the wetland. During that time, most of the, or if not all, of the sediment is removed from that drop of water and a lot of the contaminants and nutrients and those kind of uh, things that normally are a problem to water quality are removed. And we've actually seen an improvement in uh, the lake right next to the uh, wetland, particularly in some of the small uh, aquatic communities, some of the uh, small algae, some of the uh, diatoms, those kind of things, some of the small critters that eat the algae, which are called zooplankton, and then of course the fish like the zooplankton, so the fish has changed. And uh, as part of the wetland, we did some uh, study of the lake over a four-year period, and we've started to implement some of those uh, recommendations to uh, have 
uh, uh, hybrid striped bass to uh, reintroduce certain types of vegetation along the lake and that kind of thing. And we think this is all going to lead to a much better Lake Waco, better water quality for the lake and for people who use the lake, and then actually better tasting water for our customers uh, throughout the city. The Lake Waco Wetlands offers many things to see and do. The Research and Education Center opened in August 2004 and has become a hub of activity. Many visitors stop by just to experience this slice of nature. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department funded trail development including signs and observation decks that provide many great photo opportunities. The Lake Waco Wetlands are proving to be an incredible resource for education. Already many colleges are including field trips to the wetlands for some of their courses. More than 4,000 students from area K-12 through grade schools participate in the wetland each year, donating thousands of hours to help. They take part in many areas of water quality education and seasonal plantings. For the students here in university, a lot of times it's the first time they've realized where their water comes from, where the watershed is, where the rivers are, the things that actually feed into the drinking water that they use. So when we go out to the wetlands and it's local and it's theirs, it causes them to have more responsibility for their actual environment. It gives them first-hand experience for something that's theirs. A lot of them in Waco have not realized where their water comes from. They don't know what the plants and animals are that are here and local. So when they go to the wetlands, they get to see stuff that they don't know about firsthand in their face, in the water, whether they caught it, whether they actually identified it with binoculars, it gives them a chance at the wetlands to see what Waco actually owns for animals, plant life, and the things that they could actually take care of and be responsible for. Finally, the wetlands provide a unique opportunity to support ecological research. In addition to the wetland itself, Baylor University's Center for Reservoir and Aquatic Systems Research and the City of Waco have developed one of the few artificial stream pond experimental facilities in the United States. The, the wetland is a remarkable uh, resource for Baylor and its students. Uh, in particular, the, the Bear facility is a, a product of a remarkable relationship between the city and the university. Uh, the fact that the, the wetland is located here and, and uh, allows us to use this, this high, very high quality water source. And we situated this facility here to run experiments where we could test very explicitly uh, some hypotheses about the effects of pollution on water quality and its effects on animal life and plant life. So the Bear Facility, which stands for the Baylor Experimental Aquatic Research Facility, uh, is one of the largest experimental facilities of its kind in the nation. The students gain an opportunity to conduct research at a very high level that uh, not very many places in the, in the country or the world, for that matter, afford. So students are getting involved with real-world projects. For instance, we've had a, we had a very large nutrient enrichment study here in the Bear facility that was funded by the US EPA. And we were addressing real-world problems, specifically, what's the effect of phosphorus pollution on streams? How much is too much? And uh, students really were the ones driving much of the, the heavy lifting, if you will, in terms of sample collection and analysis. And so they're getting to participate in, in real world research that has uh, significant implications. The Lake Waco Wetlands is a cooperative community environmental educational project. The project strives to establish wildlife habitat while promoting educational opportunities. The Lake Waco Wetland is free and open to the public. To set up a tour or for more information, please visit lakewacowetlands.com or call 254-848-9654.